listening to. It's like asking me to choose between Sarah Jessica Parker and Kirsten Dunst in a hot body weird face contest. <gasps> it can't be done. B94.5. I have Leela the comeback girl on the line right now. How are you doing, Leela? I'm great, guys. Good. 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 So, to you again. It's great talking to you again. The last time we did talk to you, you were going into the comeback series, and we were definitely keeping our fingers crossed, hoping that you would be coming back into the main competition. So at that panel, when all of the Eliminator girls were brought back, did you have any idea you were going to be named the comeback girl? I had no idea. At that point, nobody really knows what to expect. Yeah. With so much of the competition, you never know what to expect. So I definitely had no idea. I was just keeping my fingers crossed, too. What was it like living with all of the other Eliminated girls and still participating in all of the photo shoots? Was there a lot of drama? I mean, we didn't get to see a lot of footage from the comeback series, only a, like two-minute clips. So did the other comeback girls see you as their main competition? And was there a lot of drama going on in that house? It wasn't at all hostile. We were kind of all rooting for each other because we were just excited that somebody got an opportunity to come back. But yeah. I think it was just really hard to tell who was going to come back and how everyone was doing because we weren't really given feedback on our photos and all that stuff. So okay. it was just, it was all up in the air. Yeah, well, did you guys get to participate in the challenges as well? I know that that definitely had a huge impact on who was announced the winner of America's Next Top Model. That was factored into the final score. So as one of the girls in the comeback series, did you get a chance to participate in the competitions as well as the photo shoots? Unfortunately, we did not get to do the challenges, which thanks big time. Um, that was a big letdown for me, especially finding out very last minute that that was part of the decision for who would America's Next Top Model. So no, we didn't get to participate. We didn't get scored on any of that. Um, it stinks because I did miss the go to challenge along with a lot of the girls. Yeah. And that was really hard for me. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, you obviously were eliminated early on in the season. Going into the last photo shoot in the fashion show in the season finale, were you treated kind of like as the underdog because you were the comeback girl and you didn't really have the competitive edge over the other two girls? I definitely didn't feel like the underdog at that point. I was pretty confident in myself and we were all pretty confident in ourselves and intimidated by each other. So yeah. I think we all felt like we were at a similar level while some of us did do that good in the beginning or some of us did really good in the beginning and at this point we're fading out or doing better and this and that. Everybody was kind of at an even level and it was, again, up in the air what was going to happen. It was huge tension going on throughout the entire season finale. And speaking of tension, I guess what everyone wants to talk about is that big runway fall that you had. It was so intense. Literally watching the runway show happen, everyone did that collective gasp when you slept on the stairs. Can you give us a little insight as to what was going through your mind when that happened? Yeah, um, that was crazy. I definitely <laughs> was thinking, like, don't fall, don't fall, and two steps and I fall. And it was really rough, but I got myself right back up, and I was just thinking, oh, it'll be okay if I just keep going, keep walking, keep walking. And then I get to the end of the runway, and, you know, my ankles are giving out on me just from that one fall on the yeah. stairs, and I just go to step off, and my ankle fully gave out. And at that point, I was just like, all right, I'm <laughs> surrendering. I'm just going to... I'm going to take my shoe off and figure out if my ankle's broken or what's going on. Did it end up being broken? Your oh, ankle? no. It wasn't broken. It was swollen for a day or so, but oh, no, it was, it was fine. Um, <laughs> well, during your time in Jamaica, you had some trouble with the animals in your photo shoot. Did you, yeah. Do you not get along with animals, or was it just the big ones, like your dolphin accident and having a little trouble handling the horses? No, oh my gosh, I'm literally <laughs> such a freak when it comes to animals. I love animals. I really do, like... I like freak my boyfriend out so much I like how like <laughs> like crazy I get over animals. I have cats, I have a dog, like I, I love animals. I don't know like what happened. Um, it was just these are big animals and weird situations and I think that just I got the bad luck end of the yeah. uh, whole situation I think. Well so. in in panel, it's the last panel, it's the season finale and there are three of you standing up there. And Tyra called your name first, so you were the first girl to be called as not being America's Next Top Model. What were you thinking? Yeah. And then, whenever it came down to Laura and Kiara, who were you rooting for? When I heard my name called, I didn't expect to be third place. I was kind of knowing that I wasn't going to get first just because it was based on the challenge scores, and I knew my challenge scores were lower than the rest of the girls. And we got the final scores from the judges. I think Rob gave me a seven 
that definitely was, I totally did not expect that. Yeah. Um, so that hurt my chances a lot. So it was just really unexpected what was going to happen, hearing my name first. It stinks, so <laughs> it was really hard because it did happen so fast. And even rewatching it, watching it with family and friends and my boyfriend and seeing them, like, it all happened so fast. It was really awkward because they were all rooting for me and thinking I was going to win. So yeah, that happened really fast. But between Laura and Kiara, you know, I just, I knew I didn't win. I was rooting for both of them. I really had a close relationship with at that point and I wanted to see her do well and she had fought so hard to get to the point where she was at and is just such a great person and had improved big time throughout the cycle. Her runway walk was phenomenal. So yeah, I was rooting for her. My mom was rooting for her. <laughs> but but it's great. I think Laura will represent America's next top model really well. So I'm I'm not too bitter about that. Yeah, well, you're definitely a talented model, and the judges even coined you as the edgy and fierce model during the final celebration. Where will we be able to see you in the modeling fashion industry in the future? <laughs> Everybody's wondering if I've been signed yet. I'm actually exploring my options right now. Okay. I, I know I have options open to me, and I'm just trying to figure out what's right for me and how I'll be able to get the most out of a modeling career and what I can do. So you'll see me in the future. Um, awesome. Don't know exactly where yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been I've been working on small projects here and there that you can look up online and see on my fan page and stuff. Well, that's awesome. Well, speaking of your fan page, how can your fans follow you and your future modeling career? My fans can follow me on both Twitter and Facebook. They already do it. I have so many fans, and they're so great, and <laughs> they're all so loving. My Facebook account is www.facebook.com slash Leela Goldpool, and my Twitter handler is just at Leela Goldpool, and I respond to my fans daily. Um, I try to contact them as much as possible, and it's been working out pretty well. Awesome. So definitely, if you have anything to say, anything <laughs> at all, just hit me up on one of those, and I'll probably get back to you. Well, I will. Well, thank you so much, and we really appreciate you taking your time to talk to us, and we are definitely looking forward to seeing you in the future. So thank you so much. Thank you. It was good talking to you guys. What's the status? Like us on Facebook at B94.5 Morning Zoo Crew.